2,760 pounds, little 14-foot box Coleman coming in on trade here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. They're swapping up to a 21-foot Rockwood with a slide. And this thing, I'm going to call it a big little camper. There's a couple reasons I say that. Normally, single-axle jobs this size are 7 foot wide. There's a very select number of 7 6 wide. This is 8 foot wide. That means that we just have more space here. And you can see all carpetless, ventless, easy to clean. Overall, camper looks pretty good. I think the roof looked like it kind of needed washed. Other than that, I didn't have anything else to really like concern me about it. Um, and up here, it doesn't have a normal full-time bed. Instead, you have like a huge eight-foot wide front mega dinette with a free-floating table, which is really nice because you can take that outside. You can use the table and the cushions to fold that down into a bed, or you can leave it kind of open in lounge mode. Now, if you're just a single individual, because small campers like this are sometimes popular for singles, if you just take those back two cushions and throw them out of the way, Blam! You got yourself a nice long sleeper. You could throw a foam topper down when you need it, stuff it under the dinette when you're not using it, or you could theoretically leave it like down all the time. You could put a big true queen bed in here and just not worry about the dinette arrangement. You could just leave the table free floating, or you could make it juggle back and forth however your needs dictate. And that's what's kind of cool about this. It's very convertible. Side mount AC, more than enough in a little camper like this. And it keeps the overall exterior height down, which is very, very nice. And as we start spinning our way around like a record baby, you can see there is plenty of overhead storage space all the way around. And now they had put themselves in a uh, TV at some point in this back corner, as is evident by the nice TV bracket. They kept their own screen, but they were kind enough to leave the uh, aftermarket hardware that they purchased for it. Nice kind of closet space right by the door, too. Handy for like a little jacket. You can reach in, grab the jacket, close the door, never have to totally get inside. Quick peek over here. Bathroom right by the door. So very nice for just quick stops in. And this is unequivocally a simple series camper made with a specific price point budget in mind. So very plain, but... I don't know, it's effective, it gets the job done. I don't think anyone is really expecting a 14-foot Taj Mahal, um, I, I, if we're, you know, being realistic about this thing anyway. And, you know, given that, I, I don't know, I don't see anything, I don't see any problems here. It looks looks pretty fair to me, actually. This is going to be something lightweight and low dollar for somebody, with maybe a, a very lightweight uh, tow capacity vehicle. Normally, there wouldn't still be a truck attached to the front of this, but the folks are actually inside purchasing their new Rockwood right now. They haven't quite unhooked from this yet. Whenever I get the chance, I just jump on things immediately. Um, I've always been trained, and I always preferred to be a very proactive person, not a reactive person, in my adult life. When I was a kid in school, I was the biggest procrastinator. You could give me six weeks to do a book report. You know I was going to do it the night before. And all I would do is skim the book and just write a report good enough. <laughs> Tires look good. I don't see any weather checking. And I, it's, it's exceptionally uncommon to like wear a, a trailer tire out. You'll almost always age them out. I do like that galvanized steel wheel well around that though. So God forbid that tire does get damaged for any reason. Like you could always do the best job of checking the air pressure in that thing. But sometimes there's just a screw in the road that you couldn't see. Um, that wheel well there might help keep this thing from getting kind of like, you know, uh, completely insurance washed out. Uh, the roof is fully walkable, by the way. This has, you know, OSB roof floor decking. Again, not an expensive series camper, but it doesn't have to be expensive to be effective. You can go out and have a lot of fun for a lot less money than some of these giant fifth wheels. That is a manual awning as well. I just want to point that out because uh, so many people expect a power awning nowadays. They just think that's almost, it, and it pretty much is the standard. So when I don't see a power awning, I actually like to point that out so you know exactly what you're getting into. And I don't have it open, but that front frame where it says Coleman, that does pop open to give you some excellent visibility. It will make the camper look and feel larger inside as well. There you have it, guys. Whether it's new, used, consignments, hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck, and trailer package deals from economy to excitement. <laughs> we have it all here at Halo RV, so take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone.